Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.7. Write decimals in the dividend. Please pause and write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to write a zero in the dividend to find a quotient. Please pause to write the objective in your notebook. Hello fifth graders. Today's lesson is write zeros in the dividend, but I like to call it divide like a calculator. Have you ever divided with a calculator and you get a decimal remainder? Well today we're going to figure out how that happens. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, the equivalent fractions show that writing zeros to the right of a decimal does not change its value. For example, 90.8 equals 90, then a fraction, 8 times 10, oh, on the bottom, 10 times 10. 8 times 10 is 80, and 10 times 10 is 100. So now we've gone from 90.8 to 90.80. But we know that that doesn't change the value of the original decimal. So today we're going to use that adding a zero on the end, which doesn't change its value, to divide and get a decimal answer. So today we're going to divide a fundraising event, Adrian rode his bicycle 45.8 miles in four hours. Find his speed in miles per hour by dividing the distance. So we're going to divide 45.8 divided by four. First, let's estimate. We're going to round 45.8 to 44 because it's close to 45, but also divisible by four with nice, easy mental math. Four goes into 44. 11 times. So our answer is going to be around 11. Now let's begin with the steps. Step 1 says write the decimal point in the quotient above the decimal. So we're going to write it straight up. Now step 2, let's go ahead and divide. 4 goes into 4 one time, which is 4. Subtract and we get a 0. Then we bring down the 5. 4 goes into 5 I'm going to put my decimal one time, which is four, subtract, and we're left over with one. Then we bring down the eight. Four goes into 18 four times, which is 16, subtract, and we're left over with two. Now, you might think that this is where we're done, and we would say that it's 11.4 remainder 2, but we're actually not quite done, because as you can see in step 3, we're going to add a 0 on the end after that 8, and we're going to keep dividing until we get to a 0 on the bottom. So we left off here at 18 minus 16 is 2. Then we bring down the 0, and now we've got 20. 4 goes into 20, I'll only write what we had so far, 11.4. 4 goes into 20 five times, which is 20. 20 minus 20 is zero. So now we're done dividing, but look, we had this extra number on the five. By adding a zero on the end, we got this extra number on the end. So now we know that our exact number, our exact answer is 11.45. Congratulations, you've just divided like a calculator. Let's try this again in the example on the next page. We're going to divide 372 by 15. Both of these are whole numbers, but as you can see, we're going to add a zero on the end to continue getting a decimal answer instead of just a remainder. So 15 goes into 37 two times. 15 times 2 is 30. We subtract, we're left over with 7. Then we bring down the 2. 15 goes into 72 four times, which is 60. 72 minus 60, 2 minus 0 is 2, and 7 minus 6 is 1. And then we bring down the 0, so now we have 120. 15 goes into 120 eight times, which is 15 times 8. Let's go ahead and do it. 15 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, 120 perfectly, 120 
no remainder. But remember, the reason why we could do that is because we did 372.0, and that allowed us to get our answer of 24.8. Instead of getting a remainder left over, we have a decimal answer. Great job so far, fifth graders. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson activity is the try this section on your pages. You do not need to write it down in your math notebook. You just need to solve it on the paper and be ready to show your teacher when you get to the table. We are going to divide, adding a decimal and a zero onto the end of our dividend to make sure that we get a whole number answer and not a remainder. So we're going to divide 1.23 divided by 0 0.06. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to remove our decimal out of the way. So we move it 1, 2, and if we move it on the outside, we have to move it on the inside, 1, 2. So now we're going to divide 123 by 6. They've already started for us. Let's see if we can fill in what's left. 6 goes into 12 two times, which is 12, no remainder. Bring down the 3. 6 goes into 3 zero times, which is 0 bring down the 3. Okay, now we're left over 3, but we have a 0. Let's bring down 6 goes into 35 times, which is 30, no remainder. Great job. All right, you're responsible for doing the second one here. Remember first to move your decimal, and when we move our decimal, we have to add a 0. So now, instead of dividing 0 0.8 into 10, now we're going to divide 8 into 100. Be prepared to show this to your teacher at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.